and welcome to the show. Horse racing. It's undoubtedly one of the most polarizing sports in the country, and with good reason. Racing enthusiasts say there's nothing more exciting, while animal rights activists cringe at the thought of a horse being whipped or worse, slaughtered. But when we take a closer look at the sport of horse racing, there is one fact that can't be denied, that horse trainers, owners, jockeys, and racetracks truly care about their horses. Horse racing, the sport of kings. Its existence dates back thousands of years. And today, believe it or not, it ranks as the second most attended sport in America. For race goers, a day at the track means excitement, the thundering of hooves, the dramatic photo finish, the grandeur of it all. But behind the glitz and the glamour, there's a question that's been plaguing the race industry for years. What to do with racehorses when they retire from the track? The answer in many cases was, and still is, slaughter. This is a tough time. We're at a crossroads in, in our racing industry. We ought to get our act together. The public is no longer going to tolerate us discarding our thoroughbred racehorses. They can live to 25 or 30 years of age. They can have very useful lives. This is Barbara Luna. She works at the Philadelphia Racetrack, not as a trainer, groom, or veterinarian, but rather as an administrator for the track's Turning for Home program. Established back in 2008, its sole purpose is to find new homes and careers for retired thoroughbred racehorses. And we take in at least 20 horses a month. We've already found safe retirement for over 580 horses. I don't think there's any racetrack in the country that supports this part of the industry as well as we do. Of course, it's all easier said than done. Transitioning just one horse from the track can be a painstaking process. First, Barbara must find a suitable home, which may take months. Then the horse needs to be safely shipped sometimes to places hundreds of miles away. She's, She's going to be such a nice show, show now. In the end, though, every horse arrives at a happy home and a new career. I don't know who it's benefited most, but I can tell you it's definitely benefited the horse. They're happy and they love what they're doing. Some horses go on to compete in show jumping events, while others simply serve as lovable pasture pets. But all of them have a story to tell. Meet El Frio. Like the rest of the horses we've seen, he made his living at the Philadelphia racetrack. And they're off. Very even break. He was of average ability, yet managed to run there for eight years, much longer than most racehorses. For his career, El Frio totaled 115 starts, 14 wins, and about $175,000 in purse money. He was a little horse. When I tell you little, I was taller than him. You sitting inside the gate, and he the smallest horse in the gate, and everybody else bigger than him. But we always did try. That's the only thing that I can say whenever I rode him. That's what I loved about him so much. He always did try. He was a very small horse in terms of racehorse size, but he had the biggest heart. He was the most beautiful mover that you've ever seen on the track. And I, I loved him from the first time I won with him till the very last time. September 13th, 2009, race number four at Philadelphia Park. And they're off. The very last time. El Frio, not known as a fast starter, immediately fell to the rear of the pack. But when asked to make his move in the deep stretch, El Frio broke down. I started to cry hysterically. He's my baby, he was my pet, and um, I went back to the barn to see him and his injury, and they felt like that they could, could save him. Coming up, 
can El Frio be saved? When I first saw him, I was completely shocked. I've dealt with racehorses in the past, and I'd never seen anything like that. Welcome back to our story about horse racing and Philadelphia Park's Turning for Home program, designed to help find new homes for retired racehorses. Two years ago, a horse named El Frio broke down on the Philadelphia Park racetrack. His injuries were career ending, and Turning for Home was immediately called on to find some place for him to go. Back in the fall of 2009, El Frio, the horse you see here, limped down the corridor of his barn at the Philadelphia Park racetrack. An empty trailer waited outside, ready to ship him off the track. You're okay, sweetheart. In past years, this trip may have led to the slaughterhouse, but not on this day. Turning for Home had arranged for El Frio to be sent here, the Special Equestrian's Therapeutic Riding Facility in Warrington, Pennsylvania. When I first saw him, I was completely shocked. I've dealt with racehorses in the past, and I'd never seen anything like that. One month passed, and still El Frio was unable to bear weight on his left leg. It was then that special equestrians enlisted the help of Janet Emmert, a Reiki master practitioner and teacher. Reiki is an ancient Japanese healing technique. It is sort of like Star Wars and the Force, and uh, the good force, good versus evil. Um, Reiki is very much an energy that can be used to heal. Um, others have described it as um, the love of a mother's touch. This is home video taken of Janet's first Reiki session with El Frio. It lasted about two hours, and the results were astounding. The next morning I brought him out and he was actually walking as normally as he could, which was shocking. I mean, I, I really, it like choked me up to see him like that. That was the first time I ever kind of believed in Reiki. I don't know who was more surprised, them or me. Honestly, that was the last thing I expected. Progress was slow, but steady. I'm going to let him go. Here we go. El Frio has been running sound now for almost a year. He's also got a cute girlfriend by his side named Gigi, another ex race horse from Philadelphia Park. Pretty amazing, isn't it? I'm thrilled. Anything from here on out is a miracle to me. I mean, this is even a miracle. So if he stays like this, I mean, he's done better than what anyone thought. He's a sweet, gentle horse. He really is. He worked hard on the track. He was um, a loyal horse. And he deserves to have the rest of the time off to do whatever he pleases. 